it's a beautiful morning in Southern California, and today we're visiting the Shifters Car Club. Shifters is one of the oldest car clubs in SoCal, and it's great to hear about their racing stories and lots of other memories. Yes, good morning. My name is Gilbert Palomino. I'm the president of the Shifters Car Club. We're at our Lady of Hope Festival and Car Show, our second annual one. I'm just honored to be here with uh, my co-members co, uh, of our club. We started when we were about 16 years old. And the majority of us are still alive. We still get together. We bought a 30 Roadster from this gentleman in Riverside in 1964. We were racing at Colton and Fontana. It was a little uh, Ford with a, with a little V8, but it was so much fun when, when, you're, when you're only 19 years old and you're out there racing on, at a drag strip. Uh, it, it was awesome. And since then, uh, we've been in touch. Sometimes we lose a little bit of track of each other, but for the majority of the time, uh, we're all from the general area. We all went to pretty much the same schools, all in San Bernardino. And uh, we still meet every month, have breakfast every Saturday. The camaraderie is still there, although we're all much older <laughs> and grayer and slower. Uh, we, we enjoy getting together and uh, not like the old days when we discuss cars and things. Mostly now it's what's ailing you today, but that's life, that's the, way, that's the way it happens. But you know what? We're very thankful, we're very grateful that we were able to be here with, with our friends from, from childhood. A third of us served in the military. A few of us went to Vietnam and uh, Thank God, all, all of the members made it back. We're getting older, and we lose a member here and there, and that's what we do. We we go we go to funerals. Uh, luckily, not as often as as uh, as we used to. I've been in charge basically since 1964, so that that's a long time. <laughs> well, back 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 we go even from the 50s and even from the 40s. Our main drag was E Street, okay? Now, every Friday and, well, technically the whole weekend was spent cruising up and down E Street here in San Bernardino, from Highland Avenue all the way down to uh, the Orange Show Road. We grew up cruising E Street every, Friday and Saturday and sometimes Sunday. And then occasionally uh, we'd have different car, I mean, we had about 20 car clubs at the time from San Bernardino alone, from the area. And uh, a lot of them were bigger than us. A lot of them had beautiful cars, but the majority of them aren't here anymore. They, time goes by, you disband and that's that. But. We've, we've been very lucky that uh, we've been able to stay close and in touch 
And we recall the days when we were young, unattached, uh, in our teens, just having a great time, just up and down, uh, mostly staying out of trouble. Once in a while, somebody got into a little, a little hassle, but that, that was the thing back then. Streets were so much safer. The, the people were more courteous. Um, nowadays, it's, uh, you, we, we don't go out at night like we used to, and we don't go to these ma many functions, but that's how different it was. And through the years, the cruising continued down e up and down E Street until about, I'd say, 10 years ago, they really slowed it down because uh, some of the elements were getting a little rowdy. Some younger people that, that are, are coming in to giving us some fresh blood. We're, we're very lucky that, that uh, people still enjoy these old cars. And uh, also that we have our members that were able to hang on and keep their cars, or some of them have purchased uh, new ones, new, new old cars. And uh, so we continue, we continue hopefully as long as we can. We help uh, various organizations with, with uh, charity donations. But like I say, we never really had a motto. We, we just enjoyed cars and, and cruising. Back in the day, in the 60s, there was a Fairmont Park in Riverside that was an attraction every Sunday. That was a Sunday cruise. Uh, people from all over the area would cruise the whole lake, around the lake, and uh, just park, hang out, flirt with the girls, you name it. <laughs> I got a 64 and a half Mustang the first year they came out, working on it little by little. We had it for about 10 years. And uh, my grandkids love it. When I pick them up from school, they just love it. It's not very fast, it's got a six cylinder engine. I've had the exhaust modified, and my grandkids think I'm going so fast when I'm going 30 miles an hour. <laughs> Came out in the middle of the season, not when the 64s or the 65s. That's why they call it a 64 and a half. My wife wanted a Mustang. She, she thinks she's the boss for some reason. And so that's, I went and got it, and I, she won't drive it. Do my own work, and I struggle with it sometimes. I'm not an expert. Now, I'm going to post her I would just, as a hobby. I posted the whole inside, saved me a lot of money by doing it myself. I bought it about 10 years ago. I've been working on it about seven years. The first three years, it just sat in my garage. Oh, you, you're never done. You're never done. It works good. Uh, I got some small minor problems. If I slam on the brakes, the engine dies. It always starts back up. But I need some adjustments on the carburetor. Uh, and I want to have some more chrome work done to the engine. I got, I got a homemade oil filter that nobody else has and go to car shows, people see it, and say, where'd you get that from? Yeah, I made it, I made it. Now, uh, have you ever seen that movie, American Graffiti? People cruising up and down the street? In San Bernardino, there's E Street. When I was in high school, everybody used to cruise E Street. Yeah, uh, it's about a two mile stretch, it'd take you a half hour, 45 minutes to get down that stretch. Just full of kids, having a good time, meeting people. My car is a 1966 Pontiac Bonneville. It's uh, black cherry in color. I'm not sure if that'll come out on camera or not, but uh, it's black cherry in color. It's uh, got a 389 V8 engine in it, which is original. And uh, I've had the car for about three and a half years now. Still, still doing a lot of work to it. Myself and my girlfriend one day, we're driving through uh, the city of Huntington Beach and we're going through an industrial area, uh, trying to avoid some traffic. And lo and behold, this thing was sitting out in the parking lot with a for sale sign on it. So it just it was pure coincidence. I was born in the 50s, so I grew up with these cars. I remember seeing these cars uh, when I was growing up and thinking, oh, this is an old person's car. Well, now look at me, 40 some odd years later, now I have one. You know, you grow up in Southern California, you grow up with cars, whether they're hot rods, low riders, uh, muscle cars, you know, drag racers, whatever. That's just the culture of this, 
of this entire area. So, you know, I just happen to love lowriders and I've always loved them and I just uh, saved my money for a lot of years so I finally bought what I wanted. My youngest son, who happens to be in the Air Force Station in Okinawa right now, actually loves old cars. He's totally into this. And in fact, I've promised him this car uh, once I'm gone from this earth, he can. This is his, and he's, you know, uh, not. He's not. I'm not saying he's looking forward to that, but once he gets it, I know he'll take care of it. So that's how much he's into it. I know a lot of other uh, families, men and men and women, that have uh, gotten their kids involved in this, and now this is part of them, their life too. for a ride come on let's go we'll go for a little cruise around San Bernardino and I'll show you uh, another car show that's going down at Paris Hill Park we'll take a cruise down there you want to go let's go this is a, a three on the column or three on the tree first second and reverse but what I do when I come to a stop sign I always gear down so I won't have to use my clutch or my brakes a lot. But right now we're leaving one car show and we'll take a ride to another. And we started our car our car club in uh, 58, 59. We used to go up and down Mount Vernon. And uh, to us, that was our cruising street back then. Instead of East Street, we would cruise Mount Vernon. And uh, on uh, Saturday nights, it was nice, or else we would go to the drive-in. And uh, we'd get all the friends, and there'd be about four or five of us get together. And we'd drive to uh, Mount Vernon Drive-In or the Foothill Drive-In and just park out there and act like teenagers and have a lot of fun. Uh, about 20 of us guys that started in uh, San Bernardino High School as the shifters, now there's about 15 of us left and we still hang around. We have uh, monthly meetings. As you can see some of the cars that are here now on this car show. Hey, can you move it? Hey, muévalo! Hey, that guy's messing everything up. <laughs> hey, this is part of this is right here is my wife's uh, side. All right. Hey. I see all the uh, all the cars that you see around and all the car shows. Ninety percent or ninety-nine percent are family orientated, to where everybody brings their families and. Uh, have, they have all kinds of games for them too, also. That's where uh, the kids can go out, have fun, and the guys just sit around and have a beer. <laughs> uh, but the high school days, we used to have a hot rod, a little uh, uh, street, a roadster. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, we started the shifters, naming that little car. Oh, yeah. And we used to take it to Fontana and race it every Friday and Saturday. And it was something for us to do and stay together. So we were doing that and it was nice. Uh, I got a question. How, how do you guys like uh, like being you know, on car shows and going to car shows? Oh, we love that, it. It's yeah. that, that, that's uh, what yeah. we're born, born yeah. for. Does grandpa have a car yet? Yeah. Yeah. He's been oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, He's been having his bomb. Yeah, I know. He's like mine, but I painted mine. It looks good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, you can see. So what's your favorite car, guys? Come huh? on, come get closer. What, what's you your favorite, favorite car? Cars? My yeah. favorite car is um, a 64 Impala. Oh, nice. Hey. Here, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. Get, uh, Jacob, get over here. We can see you. How about you? Yeah. It's a Palm 62. All right. But these guys right here are a bigger, way bigger, bigger car club than the shifters. Mm -hmm. 
there's a rat right here. Okay. Oh yeah, we still take it to Fontana and uh, race. Uh, I think one time uh, we won one race and that was because the other guy's engine blew and we took it. <laughs> but we used to go just to go have fun. Just go out there and just tear it up. Because uh, there used to be a lot of racing on the streets. Mm -hmm. And we said, the heck with the streets. Let's take it to, Fon let's build a little car, take it to Fontana and race it out there. But we'd go out there, we'd yell and scream and have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take our girlfriends over there and they'd be jumping up and down as the cars were going by. And, and after it was all over, you know, we just came home and talked about the race. Yeah. This car Done. runs great. It's so smooth. Yeah, that's that's why I want to keep it original. Because everybody has to stop, go over dips, go over that. Uh, not me. I just hit all the bumps and everything and just keep on cruising. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all the other guys, they put big engines and put the hydraulics. They put uh, sh uh, airbags and that. I said, not mine. I said, mine just rides, runs right, nice, easy, smooth, and I can even drink a beer with it, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> This is what it's all about. Showing off your hard work, having other car people admire it, exchange ideas on how to modify your engine, dashboard, just about anything. Families in the shade having a picnic, music on the main stage, the barbecues are hot and sizzling and it smells amazing. Cars come and go all afternoon. The V8s are rumbling like thunder and it's all good.
Okay, uh, I'm Mike Mendoza, and I'm the owner of the 63 Buick Riviera. And we're out here at Paris Hill Park with about uh, 110 degrees. So it's pretty hot, but it's real nice. So anyways, I bought this uh, car here in San Bernardino at the Waterman and uh, Rialto Avenue from a man named John. And so basically I was riding around and I looked over there and I said, hey, you ask this guy, you want to paint a car for me? So I mentioned to him, well, you could paint this one. So that's why I bought it. So I went in there and uh, made an offer and the guy, he wanted 1,500 bucks. I told him I have 800 bucks in my pocket and he said, let me have it. So that's how I got a hold of that one. So motor part and everything, just had the motor part uh, rebuilt, put it back in there, transmission, put it back in there, rear end. I actually put the whole car together. And uh, uh, basically, you know, it's all done. This is a paint, uh, hybrid paint or it's a, uh, Sledgehammer, shovel head red, candy color. Uh, not too many of this color. They're very, very different. Uh, it handles real good, it's easy. The steering wheel's easy. Uh, drives like an old car. It's, you know, can it's all the suspension is all the same. Same transmission, same rear end, same motor. Just everything rebuilt on it. Oh yeah, a lot of people just like the color. They keep asking me what color it is, and I say that it's sledgehammer red, candy color. So it gets out ongoing, nice music, not a nice people, nice friendly people. Get to talk to everybody and see, check all the cars out. And basically that's what it's about, you know, just people doing the cars. Thank you. 